Hi, and welcome back to the Nerd Galaxy. Uh, we are back to playing Wind Waker, and while it might not have seemed too long for you, uh, my dad and I have not actually recorded for almost two months at this point. Yeah, I've been busy. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Well, we're finally back to it, and in the last episode, we had just gotten the sale. Yes. So now, we are actually going to get sailing. So we're going to climb into... And we're going to set sail. That's part of what I've been doing, so... Yeah. It's... Let's see here. gone. Yeah, I put it away so I could actually... Uh, man, they saw you off on the other side of the island. I forgot about that. Here we go. But now we're actually sailing. Yeah, cool. We're moving yeah. fast. Yep. Well, they don't want to make it too slow, or else, because there's lots of oh, area cool. to cover. And surprisingly, sailing is like that. Sailing is fast. Yeah, it is. It is pretty fast. I mean, you have races and everything, and you're able to get what, like, three weight races done in a day if the wind's good. Oh, more than that, depending on the length of the race. Yep. Yeah. Hey, just like the finish line. Yep, that spawns these uh, bales with rupees. So, like I said. Uh, I will be trying to change the wind as little as possible for sailing because I believe, like even if I go, that little arrow is the wind, even if I go like this, yep, it still lets me sail and it sees it luffing a little bit, but. Right. No, even though you can't adjust the sail, that's the way you should be able to sail, is across the wind. Yep. So would you like to explain uh, how that works in real life, Dad? Sure. So, the, the sail is just like a wing of an airplane. It is actually providing lift rather than being pushed. So the old um, tall ships were all just being pushed by the wind. The newer sailing, advanced techniques in sailing, um, have you going across the wind so um, as he is jibing here going downwind um, the wind is going across the sail and giving him lift which means he can actually sail faster than the wind is blowing yep and here's the first island well first uh, dungeon island Though second, technically it's the second dungeon island, now I think about it. You must go see this dragon and request him, from him a jewel called Din's Pearl. Ask the people of the Rito tribe who inhabit this island about how to see the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. Wait just a moment. This is the Wind Waker. It is the baton of it is a baton of sorts that was used long ago when people played played music in prayer to the gods. In those days, simply using it allowed one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it might be of some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. So we got the wind waker. So we start conducting. Cool. So now we can hold this way. Oh. Oops. I messed it up. So now we're conducting like that. We got the Wind Waker, the namesake of this, of the game. One of the first things you can do, you just run back through here. So across this tiny island, around here, and check on this. 
So now I use the wind. There you go. And that's the first. That's the first uh, song you learn. The wind's requiem lets you control the wind, which is used for more than just sailing. But like I said, we are going to. That's a mighty nice breeze. The name's Zephos. I am. I'm the god of winds. So you're the new wind waker, are you? Great, great. For a beginner, you've got a nice wind sense about you. I like you, kid. That tune you just picked up? Well, it gives you control over the direction of the wind blows. Depending on its, how it's used, wind can be a good thing or a very bad thing. You want an example of it being a bad thing? Then you should see my brother, who we actually will meet later in the game. It saddens me to say that my brother, Cyclos, is miffed about his monument here being broken, and now spends his time creating cyclones to torment people with. So if you encounter any cyclones at sea, chastise my brother for me, will you? And that is my request for you. And off he goes. Yep, just a little. Just a little side quest just to grab the Wind's Requiem. Now we gotta make our way into the island. Which requires lots and lots of bombs that should not have done that. Wow, that... Luckily they're going back. Oh, <laughs> down that okay, let's just try oh. placing it down. See if that works. There we go. Gee, Tom, not everything is thrown. How about that? Oh, you better oh. hurry up. <laughs> I meant to actually throw it that time. Yeah, luckily they do give you an unlimited supply right here. Four, three, two. I got it. Whew. And there's hearts there. Oh, there's one more. Yeah, but I don't need it. Oh. Oh, there was bombs right up here too. That's good. Yep. Yay! More money. So, of course, there's supposed to be a bridge here, but it is gone. So, we gotta find our way around. Four, three. So, we're just gonna. Oop. There we go. Head our way across. Now I've done this plenty of times where I have just walked off this edge and just double jumped and just been right back at the beginning. Because it's very easy to do that if you're running too fast. That's a good point. And here we are. The home of the Rito. Now, I don't know if you remember it, because it has been two months, Dad, but he was the one who was delivering the mail. Yep. Thistle, Thistle, is that you? It is. I'm pleased to see you're okay. I must say, you've traveled far for one with no wings. And your sister, is she? Is that so? Well, don't worry too much. I'm sure she'll hang in there. I haven't... You remember that, Dad. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. No, I'm laughing because I'm sure she'll hang in there. Being held by the... Yeah, but... Well, she's in the cage now. Oh, that's true. I have an idea, Thistle. Would you like to meet our chieftain? I've told my people here about you, and all of us, Rito, are very concerned. I'm certain the chieftain will befriend you and lend you an, the aid of our... Airy? I... Don't remember that word. Do you know what that word means? I don't remember them saying that. No. Of our air. Air. That's settled then. I'll fly on ahead and let everyone know you're coming. Come inside, Thistle. I'll be waiting. There's a 
make his own way up there. Yeah, he just took a shortcut because of wings. We have to go in this way. Oh, at least it's not a bunch of obstacles to get there then. Yeah, it's just right here. Well, have you discovered the cause of the great value's anger? Ah, so you are Thistle, are you? Quill has told me all about you. A troubling tale indeed. I'm pretty sure most of these guys will have the same voice. I insist that you let us know if there is anything we can do to help you. We shall do everything in our power to assist you. However, in the meantime, we have a problem of our own to deal with. When you arrived on this island, did you notice the raging dragon perched atop the mountain? Ah, uh, did you notice it? Yes. Yes. As you see, we of the Rito tribe are profoundly connected to the sky. We make our livings on the airways. We do so by the graces of the sky spirit, Valu. When a Rito reaches adulthood, he or she journeys to the top of Dragon Roost to receive a scale from the great dragon. It is this scale that enables the Rito to grow his or her wings. Recently, however, the once great Valu has grown violent and unpredictable. Sadly, we can no longer approach him. If this continues, the fledglings who are of age will never be able to receive the scales from Valu on Dragon Roost. They will remain wingless, and in time, our very way of life will be threatened. As Chieftain of the Rito, my first responsibility is to solve this problem. My apologies, but I must ask you to wait for our assistance until this is done. Will you do so? We say that, but we're just going to go and fix their problem. Right. Chieftain, what do you think of consulting Thistle with regards to your son, Prince Kamali? As you can see, Thistle is a gallant young lad. I feel certain that Prince Kamali would open his heart to him and speak freely of his fears and worries. That may be. So yeah, we gotta do some oh, fetch no. quest stuff first. Some what? Fetch what? quest. So we just gotta go run around and do some things. Okay. Let me be direct, my son. Kamali is of the age to earn his wings, yet he is weak in some ways, and in light of the curtain situation, he may just give up on ever getting them. What say you? Will you share some of your courage with my son? Will you meet with my son? I thank you. We shall do our best to solve our problem as quickly as possible so that we may, be we may better help you with yours. I have something I wish for you to give to my son. A young girl named Medley is holding it for me. Would you go find her and take it? I am counting on you. So yeah, first we gotta go find Medley. Then we gotta phone. Go get... Oh. Get this one, though. Yeah, he's a... Uh, yeah, uh, here, take this. Who knows, it might come in handy. It's... Sorry. It's a delivery bag! So now we actually can carry... Letters. You should find Medley in one of the upper rooms. Leave the great Valu for, uh, to us. In the meanwhile, do your best to aid Prince Kamali. So I used to go see this girl and then... Yep, Prince she'll Prince. have a letter for us to give to Kamali. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think she's right here. Yeah, yeah, she is. Wow, you really do have green clothes and a strange shaped hat. You're Thistle, aren't you? Oh, me. I'm... In Oh, me? I'm an attendant to the great sky spirit, Valu. My name is Medley. Well, to tell the truth, I'm not an attendant quite yet. I'm actually still studying to be one. Oh, what am I thinking? Here, this is from the chieftain. Thistle, he wants you to give this to pr directly to Prince Kamali. So, yep, uh, father's letter. Letter from the father addressed to his son. And since we just got a delivery bag, it's a perfect place to keep it. The room way in the back on the first floor is Prince Kamali's room. You have to go down a couple of steps to get there. When you meet Prince Kamali, please don't get offended by his manner. He has no bad intentions, I promise. By the way, um, listen Thistle. I have a small favor to ask of you. Could you please come to the entrance of Dragon Roost Cavern later? I'll explain everything then. So she's going to help us get into the cavern. 
But first we gotta go talk to Prince Kamali, who is this way. Ah, uh, this door always looks like it has teeth. Yeah, it does. Hey, I, it's, it's a terrifying door for a boy's room. Huh. It doesn't lie first. Nope. Hey, look, it's Din's Pearl. It's what we need. We should just take it from him. What do you think? Just ignore everything and just take it from him? Sure. I yeah, I wish we could. Huh? Who are you supposed to be? So we gotta go... Into... Oh, sorry, I'm just checking the time. Uh, we gotta go into our delivery bag. Open. Open bag. Yep. Set the letter. Set the letter to X and then just show it to him. A letter? From my father? Oh, sure. Telling me to be brave is easy enough for him. It's not like he's the one who went through the whole, that horrible experience. It's not like he still has to go get a scale from Velu. You're in this letter too, you know. How? He wrote it before I got here and before he even thought to ask me. Right. And gave it to Medley. Who didn't deliver it to him, but waited for me to come that he didn't know was coming. To deliver it. To deliver it. And he's in there. And I am in the letter. I guess you can see the future. I guess so. You're in this letter too, you know. Poking your nose into other people's business. You're nosy, aren't you? Sorry, but I really don't feel like going to see Valu right now. I mean, how am I supposed to get a scale from him when he's so upset? What, are you trying to say that you can calm Valu down? Psh, that's just a big fat lie. It's easy to say you can do anything. Bragging doesn't cost a thing. I'll tell you what, if you can find me someone who can get past all the obstacles on Dragon Roost to get to Valu, then I'll listen to anything you say. Which is how he gives us the pearl. I'm the one. <laughs> well, they don't know that. Well, they, you're just a oh, so boy. He doesn't come, so he doesn't come with him to do it. Nope. He'll get the scale after we calm down Valu. Oh, okay. Uh, how do we get to Dragon? Should I guess what is wrong with Valu? You want to try and guess? Yeah. What, what do you think is going to be wrong? Oh, just like many fairy tales. He has a thorn in his foot or something like that that has to be pulled out. So you can... And then he's like, oh, thank you so much. No, it's no, nope. not a thorn and it's not his foot. But yeah, there is something bothering him that we have to uh, get rid of. That's causing him pain. Yep. Sorry. Hey, you actually came. I'm really sorry for bringing you to such a dangerous place. I had to. I wouldn't have asked if I didn't need help desperately. You see this place? There used to be a spring here, surrounded by a beautiful pond. It was peaceful and lovely. But then the great Valu, he became so angry and, in his rage, he shook the mountain and this boulder crashed down, plugging the spring. You can see the result. Oh, but where is my mind? Tell me, how was Prince Kamali? Oh, that doesn't sound right. Not at all. I may be partially to blame for the bad turn that Prince Kamali's taken. See, Prince Kamali's grandmother was the great Valu's former attendant. She was an amazing woman. I was honored to have her as my teacher. She was kind and brave and unsurpassed in her de dealings with the great Valu. I am not yet worthy of being mentioned in the same breath as her. If only I'd professed some of her strength, possessed some of her strength, I'm sure Prince Kamali would have felt more secure. Thistle, I'm sorry to ask this, but I need your help. I want to go to the small shrine that's near the peak of Dragon Roost, but that ledge over there is so high. If I could get some wind under my wings, I'm sure I could get up there. So, will oh, you help me? She had wings. Uh, the arms transform into wings. Thank you so much. Okay, pick me up. Okay. Then face that ledge and toss me. The atmospheric currents are really messed up, so pay close attention to the direction of the wind. So all those particle effects, you're yeah. supposed to help. Alright, I'm ready. Don't hold back now. Throw me as hard as you can. Yeah, I noticed that one. Yeah, pick up. Yep. 
uh, it, you know, yeah, there we go. So you just gotta wait. Well, I'm, well, I'm with you instead of across. Uh, yeah. Now it's going back the other way. And then the third is with you. Go. There we go. So now she can fly all the way up there. Yep. Yeah, I noticed the wind pattern as we. Yep. Come in. Oh, thank you. I think I'll be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet with the Great Velu. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice attendant. I can understand some of the Great Velu's language. I'm not exactly bursting with confidence, but... Look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. This is all I have to give you. I know it's not much, but please take it. Yay, an empty bottle. The literal most useful thing. In any Legend of Zelda game ever. An empty bottle, so you can fill it. Fill it with anything. Carrying water and holding. Water, fairies, potion. It'll be our secret, okay? Well, good luck to both of us. Oh, that she gave him a bottle? Yeah, she. Oh, she's given. She gave me the bottle. And I just. Scoop up. You. Filled your bottle with water. Try pouring on something that looks dry and withered. So I don't know if you noticed when we came in, but there were some bomb flowers that looked dried and withered right back at the entrance here. Oh. Yeah, no, I didn't. Nope. You ran by them too fast. Yep, right here. I noticed, I noticed there was something there, but... So I just throw... Springs flowing again. Yeah. Which makes me wonder why she didn't do anything. Because she had a bottle. <laughs> she had the bottle. She could have done this. She didn't need my help to get up there. It was just easy. Okay, now where's the spring flowing out of? Well, it's, it was just underneath that rock. Well, I know, but... I was wondering... Oh, how did it stop rising? Yes. I don't know. They don't really explain that. Alright, so are you going to refill the bottle? No, I don't need to right now. I missed. There we go. Put it in real. Yep. Okay. Oh. Some of, some of the games let you roll up the stairs. I, I think this one that stops you. Okay. Well, here's Dragon Roost Cavern, the uh, second dungeon. And I think we will end this episode there for right now. Cool. It's been fun. Yep. And we will start again at the uh, with the dungeon. So I will see you next time.